Welcome to Yak Talk episode 5. So, since uh, we're gonna start immediately with Playferia Opens that started this month, and uh, so the previous tournaments were not having that good of a show, but we have uh, at least the 20 players in each of the Playferia Opens. The one that finished right now was Sturt, and congratulations to Lou. He's two times champion now. Dalloway was second, and yeah, the previous two were me and Blue switching first and second places. <laughs> the uh, okay. thanks to Playfairy Open for hosting it. The tournament is fun. I'm not sure whether they're planning to uh, change the format, but at least right now it's still wild. We'll yep. see how it changes. I think a lot and of people are enjoying it so far. Yeah, it's a nice change of pace. So the meta game, the final game, was kind of <laughs> crazy, with the yaks and Dorothy's <laughs> flying around. But is that a new meta? I don't know. Well, well now it's gonna be. Yeah, now it's gonna be because last uh, last week, uh, me and Lou started with Day of the Dragon wish deck, uh, our final match, and afterwards. There were uh, that was the meta game for a bit at least it was for the streamers, <laughs> so. But uh, that's on the fun news. On the bit uh, more sad news, the real meta game on ladder is kind of cancerous with the yellow rush, and uh, the yellow tempo from Helios being the main culprits of it. Yeah, but uh -oh. I think uh, I think playing against the yellow tempo is kind of fun, and I play it a lot myself. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's yeah. not nearly as frustrating to lose against as many of the other, stay, other decks. Yeah. Ye yellow tempo is fun, but the rush is kind of more popular. Yeah. At least that's the feeling I got. It's easier to play again, to play with. And yeah, so that was the metagame section because currently it's mainly yellow rush, red rush and yellow tempo with these new fun decks popping up, but being forgotten. But at least it's going to be fun for a bit. Anyways, moving on to the next topic, joke. Yeah, so I have been working together with Aquablood on uh, a new YouTube show called Spot Lethal. And the first episode is out. You can find it on my YouTube channel. And episode number two and three are currently in the works. So they should be released sort of soon, I hope. And um, what it's about is I'm going to present a puzzle to some strong players and they have to solve it in the uh, shortest possible time yeah the puzzles were fun but has anybody actually solved the puzzle on time yet i can't spoil that okay okay because i can say that i participated in the second one i will spoil it i did not i'm kind of embarrassed that i solved that one only after the time was over but yeah <laughs> Uh, so, uh, this was the uh, new, show, new topics then. There is a new art, like we're having new art, I think every week or every two weeks. Uh, the latest uh, things that were added were Grove Guardian, Shamanic Dance and Ancient Herald. Personally, I do like the Herald art. Uh, I like all of the arts. I think they're really well, awesome. Well, they are all gorgeous. I'm <laughs> not denying that. I'm just saying that the Angel Herald seemed neat and shamanic dance, but Grove yeah. Guardian, it, let's just say that it weirded me out when it was show, first time I saw it. Well, I, it looks uh, very, very different from its uh, placeholder yeah, art. But yeah, exactly. It was like, what is this cut? I have not <laughs> seen it before. It looks a lot... New cut? I think it looks yeah. like a lot like the beast in uh, Princess Mononoke, and okay. I, I think it's really cool. Maybe I have not watched that for, like in ages. <laughs> so yeah, um, there I think there are quite a bit like a new art every two weeks. So expect to have some in the near future as well, probably. Yeah. And uh, alongside the art, we had an announcement from them about the road ahead, what they want to do. And so basically they announced that the current version is 0 0.7 and the version to go out of early access that is going to happen, at least planned to happen in September. They that said they wrote that it's definitely going to happen in September. Okay, so that's going to be version 0 0.8. 
the release of the g game uh, will be called version 1.0. So, uh, and by the time the 1.0 hits, they promised us that we will see at least 10 new cards. Like, I'm not sure whether the three wishes was included in that list, but uh, probably we not, because then it wouldn't be a new card, right? Yeah, I think but, we'll see 10 new ones. Yeah. I mean, we haven't talked about that card on Yak Talk, but I think everybody saw it anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, the, yeah. the card is cool, but I can say that one thing that I'm proud of it is that the live gain was added because of my constant whining that there is not <laughs> enough live gain into the game. Well, now you're going to get a lot of hate from everyone watching because the card is so annoying to lose against. It's really fun I, to win with, but it's annoying to lose against. I'm fine with that hate, yeah. <laughs> if that's the only reason people hate me for it, then okay. <laughs> yeah, so do you want to add something more to this? Yeah, so... Um, as you know, Feria is currently in early access. And in September, the game goes free to play. That does not mean early access ends. So early access is gonna go on until version 1.0 hits and that's to 